Okay, a few people had asked me to do a tutorial on some of the edits that I posted yesterday. That was one of them of Presley at the beach before the storm hit. And this one was a couple days before the storm hit. Um, so the lake is open now that flows into Graydon. And we went out there last night. And so the water is going to be completely different. But I wanted to do an edit for you. Um, this one is completely reset right here. This is Grayson skimboarding yesterday. <laughs> so what I typically do on almost everything, well, pretty much everything, like 99%, is in the Brilliance collection right here, I'll go to, usually this one, sometimes this one. If you look up here, you can see the difference. So that one's got a little bit of filtering on the sky, and this one doesn't. And this was in the Sunkiss collection. It was like a bonus. See if I can find it right here. So this is the store, kansaspits.bigcartel.com. And the Sunkiss collection is this one right here. So it came with all those Lightroom presets. Um, okay. So sometimes I will tweak it. One of my favorite things about Lightroom is just being able to straighten things and crop them easily. On this one, you can see there's not enough magenta in it for sure, like by long shot. So I'm just going to bring that up a little bit. And I might bring the exposure up just a tad. There we go. And maybe even take some of the yellow out because it's a little bit too warm for my taste, but that's just because the day was pretty warm. So I'm gonna open this one up in Photoshop. And let me see if I have one that's similar to the one that I posted yesterday. Maybe one of these are Presley sort of. Let's see, I'm just going, and I'm not really a fan of that. So this is before I did anything. Whenever I import, whenever you import into Lightroom, what you can do um, is apply this. I need to do my new copyright. Um, you can apply one of them as you're bringing them in. So it'll go ahead and put that on all of them. So you'll kind of see what you're dealing with there. So for this one, I would do the, the deep gold brilliance again, and I probably wouldn't change much on the white balance and then I might come down here and dehaze it just a little bit Oops, wrong way. and when I add that contrast and you can tell it needs a little bit of magenta so maybe like that and we'll put that one into we'll put that one into Photoshop too all right so here's the one of Grayson and typically I will go in here and remove people. This is my spot healing brush. It's for the purposes of the video. I'm not going to go into like elaborate detail on this, but I'll get some of it here. I'm going to switch over to my clone tool and maybe it might help this a little bit more. So, I'll probably just leave Preston in there. <laughs> I've got a water spot there. Some of you may freak out about that, but I do not. I'm going to go back to my spot healing brush, and I'm using shortcuts that I have programmed into my computer because that's easier to switch in between. Um, and like I said, these are not going to be perfect. I might go back and do them a little bit better, but just for the purposes of this, that's my spot healing brush that I'm using right now. And that's doing a decent job, as you can see. I'll go back to my clone tool maybe and try to get your shadows, because you gotta remember, if there's somebody standing there, they probably may have a shadow, depending upon where the sun and all that is. Um, sometimes the clone brush doesn't really do exactly what I want it to do, but I think for the purposes of this, we're getting it pretty good, I think. And I'm not going to worry about the people up on the shore, like behind him. That doesn't really bother me. Okay, so we're going to zoom out. And as you can see, I need to clean my sensor there. There's some spots in there. They also could be water. So I'm going to go up here. I'm, like I said, I'm using shortcuts so you may not can see. I'm going to get the quick selection brush. I'm going to go. And as you can see, it grabs them pretty good. You have to keep the size of the brush down. And that will help. So there we go okay and then I usually inverse that and then I'm gonna feather the selection maybe by three so I'm gonna go over here into the Kansas collection 
which if you're in here, um, this is for elements and this one has the Kansas collection as well as a bunch of presets that I also really love. And then this is just the actions that I'm about to use right here. So here we go. I'm gonna take Bold Beautiful Skies, which is probably, I run this on everything. And sometimes I run it on, even if it's like a, a woodsy background, because I like the color that it gives and all that. So I'm just gonna take a brush at like 30 or 40% and just kind of brush it off from around him. I might take a brush of 20 and put it back around him just a little bit, because I don't wanna lose any of that. Now I'm gonna flatten that. I'm hearing like an echo here. I need to figure out what's going on with that. I always do a rise and shine, which is beautiful. And then I'll do the warm spotlight. I may wait on the warm spotlight. Let's do a rise and shine. And then I pretty much always do sharpen noise. So I usually bring that down just a little bit. Thank you, Hudson. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to duplicate that background layer. And then I'm going to go to, it's called the Nick Collection. I believe it's from Google and it's free now. Um, but I sometimes do a little HDR on it and we'll just see Thank you, Bella. and we'll just see how this is gonna work and if I do this I do it at a very low opacity so there's a bunch of different ones on here I tend to gravitate towards the dark here um, and it also brings out all of the dust in my sensor <laughs> which is super fabulous so usually I'll do the dark sometimes I'll do deep but I don't know if I like the deep here and even sometimes I'll do bright. But I'm probably just gonna stick with the deep on this because I wanna do like a darker edit because obviously it was pretty late in the day and the clouds were covering the sun pretty good. And I'm gonna bring that way down. So, I like that pretty good. And then I might do the, the spotlight. Uh, if you run the spotlight before, sometimes you'll get a little banding in there and I don't really like that. And even still, I think I may take I may put a little bit more magenta in there and take out the blue a little bit and maybe even put some red in there. There we go. Maybe tone that down just a little bit. I mean, it's really just a constant back and forth of doing this. And I'm gonna touch that up a little bit too. But I really like that one. The last thing I might do is I'll take this twinkle brush, which is like sharpening, and it really brings out, I'm gonna do that at about, I'm gonna do it at 60% and then I can bring the, And then I can bring down the opacity on the layer if I need to. But I like to do that on the water a lot because it gives it like a nice sheen. But as you'll see, I'll take it down quite a bit there. There we go. And then maybe add a little bit because I really want that to pop. So there you go. That brings it out just a little bit. So that's probably all I would do with that one. I'm trying to... Now that I look back a little bit, I feel like it's still got a lot of yellow in it for some reason, which is strange. Oh, sorry. Negative two there. Let's see. Oops. Let's just do like a two there and see what we think. Yep, I think that takes it out. All right, so that's all that I would do with that one. Um, let's look at Presley here. There's a lot of people in this one. I probably am not going to remove all the people while I'm on the video because it'll take forever. But as you can see, I do the same thing to all of my pictures. And, and not just beach pictures. If I'm doing anything else, I do the same exact steps. Like these actions are definitely the workhorse of my, oh, oops, my editing. Because I really was doing everything over and over again. And then I decided I just didn't want to have to do that all the time. <laughs> And it helps me be a little bit more consistent because I can get carried away and just do all kinds of random stuff a lot. Um, I'm going to bring the opacity of that down a little bit. I'm going to run a rise and shine again like I did. I like it. She's a, a little bit too yellow maybe. I don't want to make it weird. White balance is literally something that changes your entire image. I mean like for instance if you look up here, so this is how it was taken, and I still shoot pretty um, pretty warm. I'm at 7,300 and then plus four on the tent. And then the preset, 
just brought it up just a little bit and added a lot more magenta. I mean, just the white balance alone was enough to change a lot about that image. So white balance is a big deal, especially for what I do. Um, I'm gonna do the sharpened noise a little bit. I don't know that I would do necessarily the HDR on her. Um, I'm sure I'll continue to play after I turn this off, but sometimes to add a little bit of fun. Like if I want something to be a little bit darker, I'll go in there and do this. And this is also how you can add like a little bit of a matte to your um, image. Or there's also a mattify on these actions. So anyways, let's look at these real quick. Uh, where did Grayson's go? Here's Grayson's right here. Okay, so let's reset it. This is what we started with. And this is what we ended with. I like it. And then let's look at Presley real quick. Right, where'd she go? Was it this one? Yeah. It was this one or this one? This one. Okay, so let's reset that one and then go and look at the final. So there we go. Um, like I said, all of my stuff is here. And if you don't, obviously I used real skies in this one because it was a pretty sunset. But there's all kinds of skies um, that I have here. The summer love one is really neat because it has fireworks in it. Um, and it has rainbows and starry nights. And the, st the stars are all like on separate things, so you can do all kinds of fun stuff with them. And it's got birds. Um, and that one's a really good deal, too. And then there's Gold Kissed. But just to recap, I used the presets for Sun Kissed right here. And then the actions from the Kansas collection. And that is the Elements version of it. And this has presets and actions in it. And honestly, I used to use the Gulf is also in the Kansas collection, this Ultimate collection right here. It's got a ton of stuff. Um, so that's what I used to use a ton was, which one was my favorite? The basics. So you can do like a neutral white balance, a warmer, and then the warmest. I like that one on Presley's. Let's see, where's Grayson? So here's Grayson's without anything on it. And then if you go in here, so that one's pretty close to the Brilliance one. The Brilliance one is just a little bit different. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it and you're having a fabulous Thursday. I'm at home with the kids and we're just hanging out trying to figure out what we're gonna do for the day. So, I hope everybody has a fabulous weekend and you can always email me with questions. My email address is kansas at kansaspits.com and um, my website is kansaspits.com and also I have a lot this is going to be on YouTube so you'll probably see it but I have a lot of stuff on YouTube Oops. yeah here we go so I have a lot of stuff on YouTube too a lot of no don't want to do that I've got a lot of tutorials on here too so the best thing to do is go to playlists here and there's editing ones right here. This would obviously be my kids liking videos. <laughs> this editing, some photography stuff, some personal stuff, doing sky overlays, and just some fun stuff about the area and real estate stuff that I have done. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it and it helped you out.